Hello everyone, my name is Blake and I'm at a Panthers home game here watching the Panthers hopefully beat the Columbus Blue Jackets. And you're watching Post to Post. Hey everyone, it's Neil here from Post to Post. Thanks for joining me today. If you're familiar with me or this channel, you know that in the past I, I sometimes take a look at goalie equipments, mostly helmets. I love goalie helmet designs. I love how unique they are and how much personality that they have. But sometimes we often forget that pads exist too. And a lot of the times they're you know, they're extremely specific and custom made uh, based on the goalie, based on the city and the team. Uh, so it, it's a really cool subculture of hockey and in, in just having goaltender unique and personalized equipment. And that's kind of what this video is about. I've decided to look at all the pads from all the goaltenders in the NHL this year and uh, pick my favorites and then rank them. So these are the best pads in the NHL, in my opinion. And beyond that, they are ranked. So I've got 24 here. Uh, with the COVID situation, the taxi squad, I think each team is allowed three goalies per team. So 31 times three is whatever. I'm, there's not that many. I picked my 24 favorite. Okay. So we're going to start off with number 24, my least favorite and go to my favorite. Now, least favorite is still something I really, really like because like I said, I narrowed it down. So let's start off with number 24. I've put uh, Linus Allmark's pads. So generally they're actually pretty simple. They're very white, just a little bit of color, some striping to match the jersey or the uniform. Um, but the coolest thing about the pads is they actually have almost like a cracked uh, marble texture to them. So that is not something you'd probably notice from far away, but when you get an up-close image or if you see them up close in person, um, it is it is pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that in the NHL before. So uh, thumbs up to this one. I They're subtle, and but simple, and I really, really like them. I got that logo on there as well. Number 23, I put one of my favorite goalies in the history of the NHL, uh, Yaroslav Halak. So very basic design here, quite simple. He's got the claws, or the, yeah, the claws going through on the blocker, ripping through, and on the bottom of the pads as well. And the rest is white. So very clean, but still a bit of aggression in there. And uh, maybe slightly cartoony, but I still quite like it. Number 22, I'll put Jonathan Bernier. So really not nothing special as far as uniqueness here. I'm sure there's other uh, true branded pads like this that look exactly like this. But the way that the striping is done and it's colorized, it, it matches the rest of the equipment so well uh and, and the jersey and the helmet i just think so i just think it looks really good so you could say yeah this is kind of generic striping and it's not really personalized it still fits in very nicely number 21 i put tristan jari so this is maybe the most basic that you're going to see in this entire video it's literally just a stripe a, a, a yellow stripe up the side and then a black stripe up the other side um, but the font is is mirrored so on the yellow the font is black on the black, the font is yellow, and uh, it matches the rest of the uniform perfectly. It matches the stick. So while this is extremely simple, he made a really good decision here to use this style because I just think it matches the the uh, overall look so well. Number 20, I put Scott Wedgwood. So again, nothing special or personalized here, but the pads being just black as the primary color just is, is really unique because most goalies use white as the primary color in their pads. So it's not often we see a full colorized pad that has no white on it other than the text. So this is pretty cool. It matches the uniform very well, matches his helmet. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of this one. Number 19, I put Jake Ottinger. So very basic here. And I'm going to skip ahead one as well because they're exactly the same. So we're going to skip ahead to Vasilevsky. So Vasilevsky and Ottinger have the, the same pads. They're both Bauer. They both have the same striping. But the way that the striping is done... Uh, to match the uniform, I think it looks perfect. So no, they're not personalized, but both sets look really good in my opinion. So skipping ahead again to uh, number 17, I'll put Carter Hutton. Um, an another true branded pad, but with some unique striping. I love how it, the stripes kind of come down from the top, the, all the colors at the top to kind of match and flow down from the pants, and then it tapers into white at the bottom. So I thought that was pretty cool and it matches the uniform perfectly. Number 16, I'll put Jacob Markstrom. I, I'm a big fan of the Calgary retro, you know, the, the direction that they went with their home and away. I thought it was fantastic. Just, so to see some of that retro yellow come down into the pads and then the, some of the font on the pads as well uh, match the rest of the uniform is, is perfect. Uh, so nothing drastic here, but again, just something simple that matches the uniform. Number 15, I put Igor Shosturkin. Now, this is some pretty crazy striping, actually. It almost mimics the kind of crown that Lady Liberty wears. There's a lot of, like, angles and stuff. Uh, there's a couple of buildings in, in uh, New York City that kind of re resemble this as well. I think it's maybe Chrysler building that has a pretty aggressive, you know, top section. It's it's pretty cool looking. So that 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 really it's 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 super fitting to have this kind of style 
on the jersey. And uh, it, it feels a bit random because it is so there's so much of it. But I think it just matches incredibly well. And it's it's unique in the league. So, big fan. Number 14, uh, I put Sor- Sorokin. Okay, so... <laughs> The there's there's no actual striping on here. <laughs> These look like something that he has worn for 25 years. It's literally just white with some orange text and a bunch of puck marks all over them, all over the pads, the blocker, and the gloves. So you might be thinking, okay, why is this in this video? Like this is this is literally just white pads, the most generic pads you can get. I decided to put in here because of the fact that he literally doesn't care that it's just covered in puck marks. He doesn't care if it looks new. He wants it to look used and have puck marks all over because you know what that means? Saves. And since I'm a 90s kid, I grew up watching some some amazing goaltenders and uh, remembering some of the pads that they wore back then. These pads, let's see if, you're think, if we're thinking of the same person. These pads remind me of Tom Barrasso from the Pittsburgh Penguins because he used to wear white pads and they used to be covered in puck marks. So... For nostalgia reasons, I decided to put this in here as well. So, but uh, I just, I mean, the pads themselves are quite boring, but the fact that he's just using them all covered in puck marks is, is an amazing decision. So I like that a lot. Number 13, Anthony Stolarz. So again, black is the primary color. We don't see that very often, but it looks so good here because the orange contrasts so well with the black. It just pops and stands out and it matches the rest of the uniform. So I like this one a lot as well. Number 12, I put Robin Leonard. So I should, at this point in the video, I should say that uh, goalies, or a lot of goalies, most goalies in the NHL actually use multiple sets of pads. I think uh, Robin Leonard actually has four sets of pads that he uses, depending on the jersey, depending on his mood, I guess. I've seen him wear multiple or different sets of pads with the same jersey. So he's using, you know, multiple setups depending on his mood, I guess, or what he wants, which is, you know, that's actually kind of cool. So uh, Robin Leonard has has some of the best pads in the NHL. So this is one of his sets. It, uh, it's it's his darker set, and it's got an outline or a silhouette of a knight kind of standing with a gold in the background. So that is has a really special, uh, personalized, unique set here. He also has the alternate logo uh, hinting on the sides, on the glove, and on the blockers. So uh, yeah, this one's great. Number 11, I put Ante Ranta. So this is really cool because it is totally customized, and it uh, it it's taking elements of the logo and then kind of replicating them down into the glove, into the blocker, into the pads. And uh, like, I know this is a, I'm talking about goalie pads here, but I'm mentioning the glove and the blocker a lot because they do add to the uniform, but the pads specifically are awesome. They look so good and they're symmetrical. So when he's standing up, they might, they probably look not as good, but when he's down in the butterfly position here, everything matches up and it just, it looks, it looks really good. So I, I absolutely love these ones and I'm a big on Toronto fan. Number 10, Georgiev, one of my favorite goalies in the NHL, and this this pattern coming down in color at the top, blending in from the top of the pants down into just a white at the bottom with some kind of crazy uh, striping going on. I, I really like these. Again, simple, but it works from my opinion. Number 9, UC Saros, just, just, he went straight yellow. He's like, okay, I'm wearing a yellow jersey. What could I do? Yep, yellow pads. I'm just going to go for it. So, and he did. He's got a yellow blocker, yellow glove, and yellow pads. He just looks like one big giant banana in that. And that's awesome. I, I, so, I really like these. Again, simple, but just uh, this kind of bold and in your face. I like it a lot. Number eight, Jordan Bennington. So, although I'm not a fan of Jordan Bennington at all, uh, he has he has a really good setup here for the reverse retro. The blocker and the glove look great, but the pads specifically, I love it. I love the the, the bright red, which complements the jersey, the reverse retro, his helmet, and then the design on the pads as well. The blue and the yellow look so good. So this is probably the perfect reverse retro full uniform uh, for goalies in the league, maybe at least top three. It's really, really good. Number seven, I put uh, Mike Smith. So not really a Mike Smith fan, kind of like not really a Jordan Bennington fan, but I have to appreciate his his setup here. His pads are perfect. That deep blue, that deep ocean blue, contrasted by that orange, uh, and it looks so perfect with the jersey. I just, I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. Those are those those colors complement each other so well, and I uh, could not put this in my top ten. Number six, I put Ryan Miller. So I just spoke about a reverse retro setup here, and this is another one. Ryan Miller has nailed this setup. Very, very simple. There's just a bit of a, a text or a color and, and a graphic along the bottom, and then at the top as well. So just very simple, uh, keeping it white, kind of like the jersey, but just adding some pop and some color. And I just think it's uh, very complimentary. So I'm a big fan of this one. Number five, Carey Price. 
Uh, so he plays for my favorite team. I know I'm wearing Columbus, but if you're new, I'm a Canadiens fan. I just collect jerseys and merch. So Carey Price is, is you know, the star goaltender of the Montreal Canadiens for the past decade. Uh, I'm very critical of him. I would not even say that I'm really a Carey Price fan, but I have to be objective here. And objectively, I think that this is maybe not the setup with the image that, that I'm using with with your uh, reverse retro, but the pads being red, it's just really cool. It kind of just... I don't know, it makes me nostalgic. A lot of goalies in the 90s used to kind of use pads like this. Patrick Waugh, I think, used some bright red pads for a while and some other goalies. So it just it makes me nostalgic, and it's simple, and it's just kind of in your face. So I like that. Number four, I put Elvis Merslikens. And these are some, maybe some of the coolest pads, not just this season, but ever. And if I'm not mistaken, he did use these last season as well. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, you've got a bit of a skyline on the pads, uh, the Ohio State flag on there. And on the on the blocker and on the uh, catcher, the net, the mid as well. So this is probably, yeah, like I said, one of the best uh, pad setups or maybe equipment setups I have ever seen in the NHL. I absolutely love it. I love how personalized it is, how custom it is, and uh, it is just it's fantastic, guys. It's fantastic. Number three, I put Robin Leonard. So he's made the list twice, and this is his reverse retro kind of setup, and it is very simple and basic. It almost looks like a, a pixelated version in a way because there's some there's some squares and blocks and stuff, but if he stands together with the pads together, you can see the swords crossing. You can see a bit of the logo being represented in there. It matches well with the rest of the uniform and the jersey, and uh, yeah, I just like how custom-made it is. And again, he's one of those goalies that have multiple sets. Number two, I put Aaron Dell. So I couldn't really find an image that I was allowed to use with his actual uniform on, but he has his practice jer jersey on here, and uh, but it doesn't really matter because it's the, it's the pads that matter. Because the design, the actual devil, the intense, fierce devil that's on the pads, it's not just the pads, okay? Like the main design is on the pads, but it branches up into the blocker. You can see the tail kind of going up on the blocker and on the on the glove. So this is probably one of the most aggressive and in your face and just modern goalie con or goalie uh, pad designs I've ever seen. Um, he always has really good pad designs. Uh, so I'm a big fan of Aaron Dell. And his his designs and stuff. So okay, so let's get to number one. Number one, in my opinion, the goaltender with the best pads is Marc Andre Fleury. And I know it's just gold. I, I, there's nothing really special about this, but the blocker does match and the gloves match. But the pads are just it matches so well with that in your face crazy uh, gold fleck <laughs> uh, alternate jersey that they have. And you're Vegas. You want to be in people's face. You want to be a little flashy. So. The fact that he just went with it and and just, you know, I'm going to use gold pads to match the rest of the jersey and be super bold, I love it. I, I I really like it, and I just think it looks good in general. It's not something I would have thought that would have looked good before, but seeing it and seeing him play in them, it looks fantastic. So Marc-Andre Fleury is uh, who I think has the best goalie setup, the, the best pads in the league, and I would love to know your opinion down below in the comment section. Uh, did I miss any? Do you think I'm, you know, such and such? Ben Bishop has a crazy pad design. How come we didn't have him on there? I don't know. I forget what his pads look like. But if you think I missed anyone, let me know down in the comments, and uh, let me know your favorite of all the things I had on my on my top 24 here, which was your favorite. I'm sure that you know maybe yours wasn't as as the same as mine. It's all subjective. There is no right or wrong. We're just having some fun here. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you're new, would love it if you could hit the subscribe button down below to catch future videos like this. Hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.